Okay, so you'll notice um, we kind of created our base base terrain. Let's populate now, work with ecosystem to populate this a little bit more. Also, I would recommend for you to save your work. So just go ahead, click button, save, and just in case if you need to go back in a step or something else may happen. Okay, right here. Next, what I want to do is creating ecosystem for the grass. So I'm going to click and create a new layer. And you know what? Let's convert this. Or just rename it system and I'm going to convert this to ecosystem particle. Notice right here on our icons, we have this tree kind of pop up. So it's tell us ecosystem. We have it also image based with a star and we have procedural as default. So now as our ecosystem is selected, we'll go down to population and I'm going to add uh, some plants to this. You may don't have some of these plants in your collection. And if you don't, what's happening, we will display like a square and says plants not found. So you can actually click on them and replace it or substitute with other ones. Or like example, I have right here alien kind of roots. I did it with uh, the plant factory, I think. And uh, if you don't have it, you can just go ahead and change and create your own as well. Or actually, I don't think actually it's plant factor. I think this is what's creating inside the view and you can send save as a species so you can use it in um, other ones. But for now, we'll go just inside the grass and I have several different grasses. Um, one I would recommend for you to go on Carnacopia and check for different type of the grasses there. It, very big variety, very nice collection there. Um, and I also have some blue grass there. You can use it and other people have it very nice one. So I think this is part of this and I'm just going to select um, this grass. And you notice this inform me that is using the quality of the plant factory plan is set to static mesh. So using them, they will give it better quality, but they do take a little bit more memory and in some cases increase render time. And uh, sometimes the work with alpha map and if you lighting, you may have it a little bit more tricky to do, but overall they will perform much better. So they will give it a very realistic plant looking. So what are we going to load it one plant? And I always like to add more than one species. So we have a variety, even like on this grass, you'll notice we have a different type. So I'm going to select a different a bunch of the dying grass, maybe other ones. So we'll add a little bit more um, different variety to this grass as well. And again, if you look on a ground, you will have it mix. The next, let's add something else. We'll go to add small grass field plan and there will be a little bit smaller so teeny tiny I know from experience and I'm going to just increase them in size a little bit about twice as big because otherwise they will just get lost somewhere but they do add interesting details to us more and more and then we have it more plants we can put it in okay we can go and just select patch of grasses um, drive weed we will add small plants I like how they look so we'll use them and let's see what else we have right here. Let's go to the patch of grass as well. So now if we're going and populate, you'll notice we populate quite a bit around. Very nice looking. Um, we need to increase density. So for this one, I'm going to density tab and we'll just bring a little bit more. Let's click populate. Notice it is populating everywhere, even in areas where I don't want to populate. So we'll take a quite a bit more size. Um, to avoid this, we can always click on dynamic population. And if we click on preview, you'll notice right here in the screen, it's only populating where the camera can see. This way it does save us some memory. So we're reducing, uh, not very significant in this case. We'll just have it small corners. So we don't necessarily need this, but overall, if you have a big scenario and you don't want camera and populated on some, you can always enable dynamic population. They work very well. Okay, let's go pop up density even higher. And you can see we have a very nice grass 
right at Jasmine. And let's go ahead and render and see what we have so far. Okay, and as the render completed, as a preview, for example, we can see some of the grass does not look good. And this is a diff um, option. Let's look, I'll show you what's going on. Because we're using some of the patch of grass that is not the plant factory. It's a little bit older structure, so it does not look very as good as the plant factory. But, and also you see how this is big clumps. It is the patch of the grass going around. Um, we have two options. If we want to keep it, we probably want to decrease in size. But you also can just go ahead and remove it. Okay, let's go populate again. So we can preview. And at this point, if we render, you'll see more interesting kind of population with the grass, more natural. But again, play with the uh, settings, see which grass will apply a little bit better in your case. Okay, let me also decrease this one because that will go properly with the size TPF. I just did it so we can see a little bit more with the other one. Okay, you can see when we're populating, it should come up smaller with patches. Okay, and let's go ahead and render this so we can compare between different grasses. Okay, so right here, done rendering. You can see we have it nice, um, except the other grass still a little bit smaller, and that's why we render. So we can preview and say, okay, we need to even make it smaller or increase or decrease some other properties. Also, um, let's go ahead and, okay, you can see how much it's already using memory, so it's kind of start freaking out about this. Um, we can increase size of this bunch of grass, so it will make a little bit better. Okay. The other way is instead increasing here, we always can go in scaling and just pop up slightly scaling inside um, overall size. That will increase scaling of everything if we need it. And you know what? Let's add some other grass, maybe just to make it different. So I'll go right here, click on uploaded grass but I want to use some custom grass, so I'm going to navigate it. Okay, and well, actually, let's go look right here at the flowers. So we'll just add a few of the flowers in this case. Um, the adding flowers will create some nice um, color accent to this. And with this one, depend what time of the season we want. If we want spring, we maybe one live valley or dandelion. So in this case, you know what? Let's just um, add maybe some of the multicolor or a little bit of the blue. Um, one thing, I don't want those blue flowers take all over the place because if we populate now, you can see we'll have a lot of blue flowers going all over places like crazy. Okay, we want to decrease them. So let me go ahead and add a few more different color of the flowers. And uh, to reduce them, we'll just need to go inside right here with a present and just take it down. So we'll just go reduce, make them maybe about five, four percent. And because it's try to compensate with other ones, we'll take this as well. And we can just type in number four, that will help as well. And you can see how the other presence is increasing. So if we populate now, we'll have it much less of the other flowers and more of the grass. Again, right here, the little bit too large size, so I'm going to decrease to 0.7 on both. Okay, and you know what? Maybe just um, take this one down to maybe 2% and 2%. So they kind of weigh um, less of them, so we don't want overwhelm, but we want those plants around here and you can see they kind of pop up nicely. Okay, as well, let's go take um, this one and increase to 1.5 on both grasses to match. Okay, and we'll go to overall scaling and bring this scaling back to one. Okay, let's populate at this point. Okay, and I can see how much plants it's going. The population goes, so I want kind of almost Blend them in again. Too many of the plants. Let's go to even set to one percent on these plants. So we'll take them 
way, way down flowers. Okay, and I think this is actually coming very good. Let's go ahead, render, see what we have so far. And I'm going to pause this tutorial and resume when render is completed. Okay, and as it render before even complete, I can see I have a little bit too many flowers and they big enough. So we're going to cancel this render. It's no point for us to continue. Okay, and we're reducing this one even more. So I'm going right here and said 0.2. So we're going way low on a percent on those ones. However, you notice it does not necessarily like this. So what we can do with this instead, if you cannot go lower or some wrong. So let's go to actually remove them from here. Okay. And this is a very good time to actually using different layers. So we'll go a new layer. Call it flowers. And we'll convert this to ecosystem as well. So in this case, We'll go right here and we'll import it. one flower we have it before second flower and as we're doing flowers let's add maybe something other flowers than this okay i like red flowers so we'll go add this one as well so you'll notice we're adding um, more flowers this way but now we don't need to worry about all this percentage between grass so if we go to the grass we're populating and you notice right here it will populate for us all of the ground okay next we'll go one above the layer and right here we actually can take density and go all the way down you can see how much we're decreasing as well we can much easier to control with our scaling and there you go it's populated much faster and less flowers than we need so well, let's go even smaller populate again okay and it should just populate a little bit right there, small flowers around. Okay, and we'll just populate that one one more time. Okay, let's go ahead and preview now. Okay, as it's populating, you can see we have it nice and nice um, kind of plants, but let's add a little bit more to the populations of those flowers. And one thing, let me pause, uh, cancel this render. They just spread all over. But many times plants are this way, they're going to get So for this, we're actually going into the density tab and right here, have an option of the climbing. So it's, we'll take them and bunch them together. So actually I want to add and reduce a little bit size on this. So right now, actually it's on an echo, we don't want on a grass, clumping grass. You can see it's kind of patching grass. Um, it does work a little bit nicer, so maybe we'll leave it here as well. So you can see kind of creating those pots and clumping. But mostly what I want to do is go to the our flowers and we'll go right here, pop up, reduce a little bit to six meters. And you'll notice our plants, kind of flowers, will start clumping together in some areas so we'll create a little bit more natural look on this okay you know maybe even clumping a little bit more okay let's go populate one more time okay i think it's looking good for now so let's go ahead um continue in next door when we add additional layers of some higher grass and bush so we can add more and more details to